Yo, what's up? It's MRI Man back to you once again. This video today is about my first day on clinicals, clinical externship, internship, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did go to Casaloma College in Van Nuys. Shout out to them. Today I'm rocking the uh, rocking their sweater. Still got it. Um, anyway, so I'm entering the clinicals. My first day, I'm working at this site called Radnet. Shout out to Radnet. Um, interesting place. Uh, I get there and I guess the front desk, they kind of guide me to the back. The tech isn't there yet. Nobody's there yet. I showed up early. So I'm back there in the room. There's a MR on one side, CT on the other side. So I'm just sitting there and I kind of just like sit down in a seat and uh, this dude comes in. Hey man, get out of my seat. Big dude. Um, he's like, get off my seat. You can't be doing that or whatever. And I'm like, oh, damn. So I get up and uh, his name is Arrow. Uh, really cool dude. Really motivational. He was a CT tech and he was really cool. He would uh, always like motivate me and be like, yo, you, you can do better. You're going to get better at this. You're going to make it. And the next guy comes in. Um, he's the MR tech and he's the one that's going to be training me. His name was Manny. Manny was pretty cool, kind of uh, kind of hyperactive. I guess he used to be a boxer. He says he was a Golden Gloves. Um, pretty cool dude. Uh, listens to uh, you know rap and stuff, and kind of jokes around a little bit. Um, he had been with that company for a long time, and you know he was really cool. So first thing, you know, we get the patient. He's like he's really quick because I qu I'm starting to learn that you know Radnet is like. A fast-paced environment right and it's like they got patients coming in and out so in my head I'm like whoa this is cool I'm gonna see a variety of patients you know so he's like all right I'm gonna get the next I'm gonna get the patient checking orders getting the patient dress and he was just moving this guy was moving fast so I was like whoa and then you know I think the first one we got on maybe it was an abdomen and he was just pointing at things and he's like well well, what is this? You know, he point to it and he's like, I'm like, uh, kidney, you know? And he's like, what's this? Stomach. What's this? Liver. You know, he was asking me all these questions. So going in, that's why I tell you guys, if you're in school or you're starting school, you're like, what should I learn? You got to learn the anatomy, you know, or learn, learn the basics and just know. And he's like, well, what type of image is, <clears throat> excuse me, what type of image is this? I'm like, oh, that's a... Uh, axial you know or what's this sagittal and he's like okay okay and he's like he would ask me things like why do we do um certain scans like why do we do uh uh what do we do do for like a trauma brain you know what i mean stuff like that you know different the flares and what do we do for a seizure brain you know coronal t2 through the temporal lobe and what do we do for stroke you know dwi so he would ask me things like that and he was always on me and he would they would give me a hard time as a new tech um and just really ride me and be like yo you should know this by now this is the third l spine you know go relocate you know even though you can relocate on you know on the computer he's like no go in there center it right center where it's supposed to be come back he would get on me hey why are you three minutes late why you know so i had another job obviously you know i'm working full time i got my family and i was really hustling like i would go there early in the morning whatever the, i don't even remember 6 30 i was there just ready to go work there till maybe maybe two o'clock go to my other job get off at nine or ten sometimes i would drive uber after you know i'm just trying to make it and then study in between and there was another guy i worked with there um, uh, he was also a student. His name was Fernando. And this guy was just, you know, he was in my class. He was like the smartest, smartest guy, I'd say, in the class. Our smarter, smartest, one of the smartest, just newer techs that I know. And even smarter than uh, a lot of the techs that I've been working with. Even the ones in it for a long time. I mean, as far as like, just anatomy physics and everything he would just see it one time and he would know right away this guy was just 
just on it like that um so he was there with me there was two machines there was an open there was another mr down the hall uh open magnet and he would be on that a lot and he would come in when i wasn't there he would come in when i would leave and he wasn't working he was there all the time he was all the time all the time and yeah he was just there I, I couldn't i couldn't go that much you know i had another job and i was kind of tired some days so i probably wasn't moving as fast as i could but you know i was i was really good at um doing the ivs and getting the sticks because i had been a phlebotomist for over whatever five years so i was getting that aspect but it was hard for me to keep up with him him being like the best student in the class and then he's there every day i just couldn't keep up he ended up getting a job in the front office i think before he finished uh school and clinical so he was just in the mix anyway um so yeah i'm just we're just doing scans over and over and i'm making probably making mistakes here and there every day for getting angles and it was hard man and i'm just like man what am i am i gonna pick this up you know so like not till maybe a couple months in three four months in i start getting real comfortable getting fast they start you know basically leaving me by my kind of by myself just doing the scans and just getting getting up to speed so i mean i want i wouldn't have mind working there i, I wanted to work for rednet and i would i told the uh, manager there i forgot his name he was really cool too and he's like yeah we like you but there just isn't there wasn't an opening at the time and the other student uh fernando ended up getting it which is good for him um he wasn't working you know and he was honestly he was the right candidate he was there more than me he, he pushed harder and i just wasn't there i had to go to my other job so well deserved well deserved um i didn't want to work there i did i did want to work for radnet and i didn't want to get my experience because i think radnet is is a good place to get your experience and you could even move there's you could move up there higher in the ranks um from what i've i've talked to this other guy i can't remember his name but he would go to each site this guy was super smart and um i wish i could have worked with him more and if he could have taught me more i only went to like two of his labs but this guy knew everything about like protocols and he told me he's like you got to learn this stuff you know learn learn uh you know what a t2 is t1 and just know how to create a protocol and know how to create these uh different scans and set them up he was right because um, we go you can go to some sites and they're like oh we have no protocol for a lumbar we have no protocol for a runoff and they're like can you help us build it and that guy was right i forgot his name i don't remember his name but uh that guy was really good um the the staff there was cool i had fun going there and they're, they this guy arrow he'd always tell me he's like hey man i would just be bummed out and just be like tired and just they're like hey hey look we all had to go through it all of all of the the texts there they're like we all went through the same thing you did working in clinicals for no money you're, you're doing work you're not getting paid so they all went through that you know what i mean so if you guys are getting about to get into clinicals or i mean you're a student you're gonna get there yeah you're gonna, you're gonna feel the pain even if you're not working and you're just going to clinicals it wear, it does wear on you it's like it's hard and somebody training you you hope that they have the patience and you know they may grill you a bit because i did get grilled over there a lot um sorry about that yeah so that's all i really want to tell you about that um we'll get more into it but i gotta go um i'll holla at you guys later and follow me on instagram the real mri man uh hit me up with messages on there any ideas for videos i really appreciate you guys liking the video subscribing and you know we're gonna keep this moving we got some new things coming in um some new live videos coming up uh, more interviews i'm working on that don't worry, it's, it's been really busy. It's been crazy, a crazy year, but I have I don't forget about this channel and I'm staying true to you guys. All right, y'all have a good weekend. Be safe out there. Take care.